Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Thomas of the Sales Tax Sisters and Thomas Thomas and Thomas PC. And today we're going to talk about tax exempt sales and the documentation that you need to substantiate tax exempt sales. So here's the music. Hi everybody, thanks again for finding us. Today's tip is about tax exempt sales. And we're gonna start off with the basics. Everybody knows when you are reporting sales on the sales and use tax return, you report total sales, then you report taxable sales. If those two numbers do not equal, then you have tax exempt sales, also known as non-taxable sales. If an auditor ever comes in, they're going to want to know what those tax exempt sales are and why they are tax exempt. There are various reasons why you can have tax exempt sales. That includes the nature of the customer. It could be a tax exempt entity. The item that you are selling could be exempt from taxation. It all depends on what it is. There are various different reasons. The important thing that you as a seller or you as a bookkeeper or accountant or trusted advisor need to know is that you must have substantiation regarding why those sales are exempt from taxation. That can be various different certificates, a resale certificate, resale certificate, an exemption certificate. Make sure that those things are properly completed, which means all the fields are filled in on the form, it is signed and it is dated, and that you obtain it in the the statutory, within the statutory guidelines, because some jurisdictions are very persnickety about that. You know, maybe they need to have, you as a seller, you need to have obtained the certificate within 60 or 90 days of the sale. Other jurisdictions are a little more flexible about it, but make sure that you understand what your responsibilities are in the jurisdictions where you do business. And make sure that you not only obtain that documentation, that you actually retain the documentation for the statute of limitations in the jurisdictions where you do business. And that for sales and use tax purposes is usually three to four years in the United States, but it can vary. It can go longer than that, depending on the jurisdiction and whether there is any kind of finding of fraud, but we don't want to go there. And that is your tip relating to tax exempt sales. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. You know we love questions, people. You know we love it. And if you like the video, please thumb us up, subscribe, share the video. I know I'm giving y'all lots of things to do, but y'all can do it. And um, we will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe.